One of the primary goals of our trip was to pursue the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. President Donald Trump is again turning up the pressure on North Korea, announcing on Monday that he is declaring the regime a state sponsor of terror. Now, today, the United States is designating North Korea as a state sponsor of terrorism. Should have happened a long time ago, should have happened years ago. In addition to threatening the world by nuclear devastation, North Korea has repeatedly supported acts of international terrorism, including assassinations on foreign soil. I call it the peaceful pressure campaign. The president calls it the maximum pressure campaign. So there's no confusion. They're one and the same. In a rare appearance uh, during the White House press North secretary media briefing, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson explained uh, more. Several months, the last year or so. Some of you will know uh, that North Korea was designated as a state sponsor of terrorism back in 1988. So they have been designated before. That designation was lifted in 2008 as part of an effort to negotiate with North Korea an end to their nuclear program. That obviously failed because we can see where we are today. Is this move an intent to incentivize uh, Kim Jong-un towards negotiations? I think it's been more than 60 days since we've seen some kind of test. Do you think that that timetable is in any way promising? And why wait until we are back in the U.S.? The President said that there was hope for diplomacy when we were in Asia, and this seems to be counter that. No, we still hope for diplomacy. And this is the, the timing of this is just one of us concluding the process. There is a very specific designation process that we have to go through at the State Department to be able to meet the criteria to make such a designation and we wanted to ensure we had fully met all those requirements. Again, this is all part of just continuing to turn this pressure up and we continue to turn the pressure up on North Korea by getting other countries to join and take actions on their own. Beginning December 1st, the state of Hawaii will begin testing an additional siren tone, a so-called attack warning, which differs from the current alert warning. This public service announcement video was published by the Marine Corps Base Hawaii last week. Aloha, Marine Corps Base Hawaii. Beginning December 1st, the state of Hawaii will start testing additional siren tones aboard the base. The tones will be played on the first working day of each month and thereafter. The two tones are this, the alert tone, which sounds like this. And the new tone is the attack tone, which sounds like this. The goal is to educate our community on the new alert tones. You are not required to respond during these tests. For more information, visit our website or click on the link in the description.